Hi guys, my name is Eric and because I love Blender you can call me Blenderic. In this short video, or short, I don't know if it's gonna be short, I'm going to show you how to create basic fly-through animation in Blender. Okay, uh, at the end of this video you will see the final render, but please do not comment on quality of textures, lighting and so because this is for demonstration purposes only okay so let's get started to create our path we need a path so press shift a and add curve path if you press tab and go to edit mode you will see the arrows which is uh, these are showing you the direction of the path so make sure you will uh, position them correctly so just select one of them and press G to bring it somewhere inside. Get another one here. It all depends what kind of path you want to create. So, yeah. Maybe select all of them by pressing A and bring it uh, by the eye level. Alright, seven. Go to the top view and we can start shaping path already so I want my camera to enter the room and then go this way now with the last one selected just press E to extrude and continue okay the path is 3d so of course you can change the height of it as well so here I will make the camera go almost behind the coffee table. One. If you see, if you hear the weird sounds in the background, it's my dog playing. So excuse him. All right. Seven and E to extrude again. So this is the basic path for our camera. And another thing we need is the camera. Press A to deselect, Shift A, Add Camera. Maybe I'll just change the size to about, I don't know, 30. And uh, in order, I will explain that later okay so now select the camera go to the constraint and select follow path camera as a target select the nerves path right Grab the camera and bring it to the starting point. Like this. Seven. <coughs> uh, as 
as you can see I've changed the length of my animation from default 250 to uh, 500 frames which is gonna give me 20, 20 seconds of animation which is decent for this type of still quite short but enough for for this I think okay so select the path and go to object data and now as, you, uh, as I said it's gonna be 500 frames but if you will if you press alt a now see nothing happens in your 3d view so press escape with the path select selected change the frames length to 500 enter now uh, we are on the frame 0 in evaluation time with the 0 right click and insert keyframe now go to frame 500 enter evaluation time change to 500 enter and right click insert keyframe if you go to frame 1 now and press alt a you see the camera is basically following the path already yeah but it's obviously pointing completely wrong direction but we will fix it very quickly escape to give our camera a target we will add empty to our scene so press shift a add empty just grab it bring it to the center of the room somewhere maybe change the size as well if you need select the camera hold on shift select the empty press ctrl t drag the constraint and now the camera is pointing in the direction of our empty alt a and yeah see now we just need to insert some keyframes for our empty if you don't want to you don't have to of course escape but I do want to if you go to camera view you see this is quite small model so we need to change the <coughs> focal basically the use the wide angle lens that's what the photographers do but it's a top secret so do not tell anybody okay you can even make it 14 or something it's all up to you it's gonna cause some distortion in your render but that's how it is in a small spaces we need wide angle lenses all right so we've got our 500 frames animation our path already we just need to reposition our empty so on the frame zero grab the empty g bring it here i'll open another 3d view and press zero go to the camera view so we see better what we are doing and where we are on the frame zero empty here and press e insert location i'm going to frame i don't know 100 the camera view is still all right but on the frame I don't know about 90 I will grab the empty and bring it here a little bit down and press E and insert keyframe location I'll continue to go to the frame Seventy-two. Grab our empty and bring it in, and insert the keyframe. Go to the frame. Two hundred twenty. Grab empty. Bring it in. Put it down. Insert the keyframe. Keep 
screen. zero and here you can watch the animation alt a see the cameras going in and following the empty oh, good but as you can see the camera goes through the door and we don't want it so Make uh, go to the top view and see at the frame zero the doors needs to be still closed and as we are getting closer see the camera is actually entering the room in frame 85 so we need about two seconds to open our door so at frame 30 I will select the door and press E to insert the rotation keyframe and I will go to frame 80 press R Z to open to rotate along the exact axis and press E insert the rotation keyframe and I will like when I go back to frame 0 and press Alt A you see doors are nicely getting open when the camera is approaching okay um, so but basically when we are leaving the room at the frame 430 as well so again with the door selected E insert rotation and go to frame 480 something press R Z close the door and press E insert rotation keyframe so as the camera leaves the room the doors gets closed and that's it basically guys so yeah as I said simple and very effective so I'll show you the final render and I hope it helped uh, if you think it was useful feel free to com comment uh, rate or subscribe but no pressure you don't have to of course only if you want to mm, you know I'm kind of undecisive recently or am I not I, I don't know so ah, whatever bye bye